Hi there, I'm Nancy with Creative Cuts. Thanks for joining me. As you may already know, Lettering Delights now offers SVG files which are perfect for cutting with Make the Cut. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import an SVG file into Make the Cut using Lettering Delights as an example and how to prepare it for either a cutting project or a print and cut project. So to start, I'm going to come up here to this little icon that says SVG and click on that. And then just navigate to the folder that the files are in that you want to open. And in this case, the folder is already open. And I'm going to bring in this little snowman, which is from the Merriment set. Click on Open. And you can see this little black outline of a snowman shows up on my cutting mat. So first of all, I'm just going to make him a little bit bigger, and I've got the resizing arrows on him right now, so I'll just drag the corner and pull it down. Now, as you probably noticed when I was bringing the SVG file in, this little snowman has mitts, he's got some cuffs, a collar, a lot of detail that's not actually showing up. So we need to do a couple of things to get those details to show up properly. When Lettering Delights SVG files are imported into Make the Cut, they come in essentially upside down. So the top layers are on the bottom and the bottom layer is on the top. So the first thing that I'm going to do is switch that around. So to do that, I'm going to come over to the Layer Properties box over in the lower right corner here. And right now you just see the one layer. I'm going to right click on that and then I'm going to come down to Reverse Order. And what that does is just exactly what it says. It reverses the order of all of the pieces. So now you can see all of those details are showing up on the snowman. Now, I still can't cut it like this because everything is on one layer. So what I'm going to do is, again, right-click on that default layer. And I'm going to select to each its own. And what that's going to do is now take each of the individual pieces of the SVG file and put them on their own layer. So you can see as I scroll up and down here, I now have several different layers that I'm able to cut. Now the next step that I'm going to do, just because I personally find it easier to work with colored images, is I'm going to color each one of these layers. So I'm going to start on the bottom here, and to color it I'm just going to click on this little icon that has the little colored blocks. And this bottom layer is the layer that his nose and everything is on. So I'm going to choose this sort of dark brown color. Now you can see here that the entire piece has been recolored on the little thumbnail. Over here on the cutting image, only the nose is showing up brown, and actually the mouth is as well. And that's just because the rest of that layer is covered up with other layers. So I'm going to come up and color the next layer here. And this is the layer that's going to show up as his body. So I'm going to color it white. And then I'm going to scroll up and just keep recoloring those layers. So his coat, I'm going to make kind of a light pink color. I guess maybe it's going to be a girl snowman. And her mitts, I'm going to make dark red. The cuffs and the collar. I'll make kind of a bright red. And then the last one here is the button. And I'm going to make that the same dark red as her mittens. So now you can see that I've got a nice colored snowman or snow girl. Something else that I like to do when I'm working with a lot of layers in a project is actually rename the layers so that it's easy for me to tell what I'm looking at. Now on this particular project, it's fairly simple to tell, but sometimes it's a little bit more difficult. So I like to rename the layers, and to do that, I'm just going to double click here where it says Default Layer. And now you can see that I've got a box that I can actually type in. And I'm just going to type right over top the name of my layer. So this first one is going to be Button, and then Collar and Cuffs. Oops, missed a layer there, mittens. Okay, so just like that, now I've got some nice descriptive names for my layers 
So it makes it just a little bit easier to see what I'm working with. Now if you're just going to be cutting the snowman out of paper, the next thing that you want to do of course is move your pieces around so that you can lay your paper out on the cutting mat according to how it's laid out on your Cricut mat. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here so that I can actually see the whole mat in the window. And you can see just by clicking and dragging on a layer you can move them around, position things where you want them to be, and then get it ready for cutting. Now I'm just going to revert back to the way all of that was positioned before. All I'm doing here is hitting Control Z on my keyboard and that undoes everything that I just did. So now there's my snowman hole again. And I'm going to come over here to where it says theme and I'm going to check off the outline shapes. Okay, so now you can see what has happened is that black outline has disappeared. If I was going to be doing a print and cut project, I would turn that outline shapes off and then you can go ahead and print this on your printer and then put that sheet onto your Cricut mat making sure that the edges are lined up with the ruler edges here and then what you'll want to do is turn off all of the layers except for the very bottom layer because all that you'll want to cut out is just that outside outline so I'm going to continue turning the layers off so now the only layer that's left turned on, so the only one that has this little open eye showing, is the very bottom layer. Then when you cut that out on Make the Cut, you'll have a great little print and cut snowman to put on your project. Now that was actually a very quick overview of how to do a print and cut with the new version of Make the Cut, version 3. I'll be doing another video tutorial a little bit later on that shows how to do a print and cut in a little bit more detail. But for now that shows you how to bring the Lettering Delights SVG files into Make the Cut and get them ready for printing and cutting. And hopefully you also learned a few new things about working with the Layer Properties box. So thanks for joining me and have fun cutting.